Yo, my name is Benjamin and in this video, let's talk about stack variables. We're adding variable support for layout properties in components. This allows you to make much more customizable components like navigations, and it even allows you to control layout through the CMS. Let's take a look at a navigation use case. Here I have this pop-out menu from nav.supply. You can click anywhere on the collapsed menu to open it, revealing a horizontal layout of links. When you resize down to a phone breakpoint, the links become vertical and the gap is adjusted as well. So let's dive in and take a look at how this demo currently is set up and how we could further simplify it using variables. We currently have four unique variants. Open, closed, mobile open, and mobile closed. And in the mobile or phone variants, all we're really doing is customizing the stack direction and the gap. Now before, this was really the only way to do this kind of layout customization within a component. But increasing your variant count can be prone to error, especially when collaborating with multiple people in a project. For example, you could accidentally create unwanted layout overrides in the phone variant. So ideally, because this navigation has two states, we could also use two variants. So I'll go ahead and delete both of the mobile variants. And now we simply have an open variant and a closed variant. So I'll select the stack containing all of our links. And there's really only two properties we need to customize on the phone breakpoint. We want to set direction to vertical and gap to 20. I'll go ahead and undo these changes here and let's make our first layout variable. I'll click on the direction property and then I'll select create variable. The current default is horizontal, which is what we need for the desktop and tablet breakpoints here. So that is fine. Let me close out of the variable modal and let's do the same for the gap property. It inherits our default of 10, and I do like a stepper control, so I'll customize that. And then let's go back to the home page. So you can see the variant we used on the phone breakpoint got reset back to the primary variant, which is expected because we deleted those variants. And now when selecting any instance of our component, we have new property controls for both direction and gap. And we can use these to fix our navigation on the phone breakpoints. I'll set direction to vertical and I'll increase the gap to 20 and that is looking fine. So let's set the variant back to closed and give this a preview. And if we now expand and collapse the navigation, you'll see we have a vertical layout on mobile and a horizontal one on desktop. So the interactions are powered by two variants, while the responsiveness is powered by two variables, giving you a very flexible setup that is easy to customize. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more updates coming soon.